we're going to go ahead and review this Bushnell camera. It's been on the tree for two months, um, so I give it a good running through. I did both pictures and videos. First thing I'm going to say is, if Bushnell ever watches this video, your support sucks. Um, I found a bug in it, specifically the video length setting. If you set it for 60 seconds, one minute, it does 60 seconds daytime only. At nighttime, it only does 15 seconds. Now, this is technically a firmware issue. Just means that the time setting that they're using to set the record time is not being carried into the night vision side. I contacted support and their response was simply, if you think there's a problem with the camera, ship it back and they'll take a look at it. Um, when I asked them why I would ship back a camera for a firmware issue that could be patched, send me a new firmware and I'll update it. I was told that if I wanted to discuss any further, I needed to call the 800 number, which basically you guys are just not there when I'm available. So it does great daytime shots. It does amazing nighttime shots. And I'm going to put some up for you to look at. The daytime video is good, really good at 720p. Um, the camera is probably 30 feet from the feeder maybe 25 feet from the feeder, and you, with the daytime video, you can make out the squirrels there at the feeder collecting food. Um, nighttime video is amazing. I've got videos of deer and pigs and raccoons and the possum and the list goes on. As I said, I'll put some of those videos in here. The daytime photos turn out well, although I think it was just a hair slow because I got a handful of empty frames. Those frames, I'm pretty sure, were squirrels running past. Um, nighttime photos are just great. So let's go over and I'll, I'll do a voiceover for the photos as we pull them in. As you can see the raccoon, one of the few that showed up during the day. And this is a photo of some of the squirrels at the feeder. It does a good job with those. Um, the only deer that showed up during the day were small does and bucks. At night, we got some great photos of big bucks coming up to the feeder. Uh, this particular one came up middle of the night repeatedly. Here's uh, several smaller does feeding. And again, with lots of raccoons. We got a lot of them out there. Battery life. On photo mode, the battery, I didn't even see a tick on two weeks worth of running. Um... It really didn't take hardly any battery. The camera mode, on the other hand, and of course, your mileage is going to vary based on daytime, nighttime shots and lengths of recording. So, most of my shots were nighttime shots, which meant that it's running the IR to light up the field. Um, two and a half, three weeks out of a set of batteries, running pure video with uh, 60 seconds during the day, and of course, the, with the bug, it was 15 seconds at night. I did find another issue with the camera. Um, it's got, uh, it's not low glow, so when the LEDs light up, you can see them. Not really a major ordeal, not something I really thought much about, but that freaking little LED starts blinking. And... While it's a red LED and it's small and it just blinks a little bit, it's not a big deal. The raccoon spotted the camera and went up and played with it. And actually, because it mounts here in the back to the screw mount, they took the camera that was pointed like this and ended up rotating it all the way around so it was sitting upside down. 
It was sitting sideways for a while. They played with it. Um, so I actually had to go in and flip some images so that you could see what was going on in them because they were upside down. You may notice that the the um, tag at the bottom that says Bushnell and the date and time and, and temperature is at the top on some of them. It's because I had to turn the, cam turn the images over because the raccoons were playing with the camera. From this point on, it will strictly be the videos that were captured from the camera itself with a special little treat at the very end. So enjoy the videos. Should be good. It's got a wide angle um, lens on it. And that's pretty much it. It will now capture 60 seconds of video every time something sets it off. And a couple of weeks we'll see what it is and I'll may post a video of it. Alright, well, I'm gonna end this here.